I've been so long. Oh, it was on for real, but what you doing? Can you bring me some pants? <laughs> hey, y'all. What's up? I haven't been live in like so long, but I have a question that I want to ask my readers. Yeah. What y'all doing on this beautiful day? Oh, boy, I'm tired. Child, <laughs> no, I didn't recover from last night. Look at me. Look, I worked out. I took some pictures, Jeremy, and I'm still, you know, in this half makeup that I never do. What foundation? I don't know. I have to ask Haley. Man, Haley is motherfucking go. Okay. What's up, y'all? Miss y'all. I haven't been live in so long, and I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all I love y'all. I'm sitting inside. My daughter is not here, so the house is quiet. I don't have a TV on. You know, sometimes you have to do that. I don't have a TV on. I don't have a motherfucking radio on. I don't have nothing on. I'm just sitting in the living room enjoying the sound of the rain, okay? Because rain is not here. Making the sound of rain, okay? Yes. Mamas need they little, they little, they little, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go give me a glass of wine, and I'm about to start working on a new book. And I need y'all help. Okay, I'm torn. Slidell in the house. Oh, who in Slidell in the house? I don't live in Slidell. Oh, you saying you in Slidell in the house. Hey, girl. Hey, K-girl. Hey, baby mama. I miss all y'all so much. Like, I haven't been on live in so long. Like, so long. I got to check in with my people because, you know, I love that y'all support me. And I love y'all for that. And y'all been, like, rocking with me for a long time. Thank you. I look amazing last night. Thank you. Shouts out to Noaji Jeremy. He always want to put me in a silver dress. But I'm here for it. That's my baby. Yeah, and then I've been eating and not working out, and he want to bring me these tight ass dresses and shit, so I gotta be like, you know. So I just start working out again today because my man is like, listen, what's up? Girl, you did not bring me no jeans. <laughs> Who wants to sit in the house with jeans on? Girl, give me some pajama pants, please. Huh? Give me some pants. Some uh, pajamas. I don't wear jeans, period. Why would you bring me jeans? Hey, Grand Hustle. I miss you, too. So, anyway, y'all. Listen, you know I don't really be going out for real. But when I go out, see, I like to party. Like, I like to have a good time. And I like a vibe. I like old school music. I'm sorry. I'm not with the new school all the way yet. It's a few of them. But I'm a vibe. A old school vibe. Okay? And you give me some old school music and my little two-step bitch, I turn into Baby Nita. There be a whole, hey, Nibia. <laughs> it be a whole motherfucking vibe, okay? I like to have fun. I like to be with people that like to have fun. Like, not just sitting around, just looking at each other. Like, we got to dance and we got a motherfucking party, okay? We got to get it popping, Okay? Not, you know, like, just enough fun. Like, yeah, I'm a 90s girl. Oh, yes, 90s, early 2000s. Take me back. I can have a motherfucking party if you put that on. It's going down. So, yeah, that's just... And last night was a vibe. Like, man, I love a vibe. Because I'm going to be the life of the party. If, it's, if I have me a little shot or a glass of wine and you got the music rocking... See when E class is on, that's my DJ. He know how to, you know, it be popping. But anyway, what y'all got going on? I haven't been on live in so long. I was like, let me check in with my people. I don't want y'all to think, you know, this bitch always like posting stuff, like do this. I gotta check in with y'all. What y'all got going on? What y'all doing? Yeah, wet and reception music. That's what I like. Yes. 
You so dope too. I love you. Y'all, y'all don't understand. Like, I'm really like, I like to have fun. I like people with good energy. If your energy ain't right, I can't fuck with you. Like, I don't like everybody in my circle. I like people with good energy, good vibes. And it's like I sense it when it's not right. So I be like, they can't sit with us. Like, I, the energy just, you know, I'm not a, a mean girl. I'm nice. But I just don't like fucked up people. Like, they got bad energy and the vibe ain't right, you know? You like my accent? That motherfucking accent ain't going nowhere. So, New Orleans. I'm so 504. You from Houston? Okay, shout out to Houston. I love it. So what y'all doing? I'm chilling today. Like, I'm not going to the office. I worked out. We ate. And I'm about to get in the bed and watch TV. Um, I don't have my daughter, y'all. I don't know what. Brain is at her grandma house. Probably baking cakes. What they like to do. Um, The wedding is next year. Hey, Nikki. Girl, yes, I am tired. Listen, y'all. First of all. I party for the whole month of May like it was my birthday. All my friends, most, well, most of my really, really, really close friends are Tauruses. So, their birthday starts like April 29th and then it just rolled the rest of the month. So, I party so much till my body shut down. Like, last week, I couldn't do nothing. I was in a bed for like four days. I missed my best friend baby shower. Yeah, it was it was like that. I couldn't. I it's like my body was like, look, sit your ass down. So I had to sit down and like take a little break or something. Cause, boy, yep. So I'm so glad Taurus season is over. Cause them hoes will me out. No mocha tonight. Oh, no more. Oh, congratulations, Tanisha. Girl, no mocha for a while. That's right, Charity. You got to protect your energy, baby. And you got to get rid of the bad vibes. You already know. I missed that time we came to your house, girl, and we had that. What was, what was, what was that saying that we were saying? That shit was funny. But, um, but yeah. I love y'all, too. I love y'all, too. Listen, but I'm going to tell y'all this for real, though. Like... Keep the bad energy out your circle. I'm telling you, that shit is, like, toxic and it's not good. Bring the... You know, your life be so much better when you surround yourself around people with, like, good energy. People that's on the same weight. Like, I don't want to sit around and talk about people all day. If you people talking all day, that's not my type of party. Let's talk about how we can get some money. What's that? Joggers. That's... 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 Chashe is. I'm a person that likes. To... You like to sit in jeans in the house. No, that. Oh. All right, yeah, but um, yes, Tauruses are the best. I love all my Taurus friends. They are the bomb. I, I can honestly say I have a really dope circle of friends. But what I was saying when I first got on live, I was sitting here because I was about to go sit on my balcony and start writing, and. Oh, yeah, you got to be emotionally balanced, for sure. Yeah, that, that that's Josh Shea Shai's self, you know. Gossiping all day, that's for birds. And we too, we too old to be hanging with birds. We need bosses and women that's got some kind of something, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not talking about people. All day. You know, girls, one thing about girls, I'm going to keep it real. Like, girls talk about people. You know, you say something, you be like, oh, bitch, look what she had on. Like, that's just girls. Like, girls gonna do that. But, like, to literally have a group of women that just sit around and talk about a group of women all day, I can't do that. Like, that shit is, like, I get aggravated after talking too long about something. Like, come on, do we still on that? Like, you know, I don't know. That's just me, the Scorpio in me. But no, then again, I can't even say the Scorpio in me because I know some Scorpios that'll talk about motherfucker all day. I ain't that type of Scorpio. Hey, young Miami girl, what happened to you? We were supposed to be twerkulating in a club last night and your ass didn't want to change your clothes. How we going to twerkulate if you change your clothes? 
<laughs> I was, child. When mocha latte, you ain't get the me mocha latte. See, y'all always see Toya because Toya like real chill and reserved. But when mocha come out, that's the fun. Like mocha want to party. And that's the one who was twerkling with you in the thing. That's mocha. She was ready to finish the party. But your ass then went and changed clothes. Oh, yeah, you got to keep that circle small, peach kiss. Yes, girl. But y'all like real bitches, though, for real. Like, listen, okay? Team Scorpio. Hey, Janae, girl. Your feet was hurting in them shoes. Girl, my feet was hurting. I was wore out with that big-ass dress on. That, all that weight on that dress. I was like, if I go home, I'm not coming. And I don't do the club. So I was like, y'all say, let's go out. And I kept the party going. And these motherfuckers, they went and got pretty and cute. See how they do you? And I, when I was ready to dance, girl, I was ready to... Because see, when I get liquor in me, I get rhythm. You know what I'm saying? So I could have twerked my ass off last night. I could have been ready for you last night. Young Miami wasn't ready last night, y'all. She had her sexy dress on, baby. She was giving everything. Hey, Shalom. Girl, y'all, I'm sitting inside. Y'all hear how quiet and peaceful it is when your kids are not here? I don't have Reginate. Well, Reginate don't live with me, but she ain't calling me. Rain not here. The daddy not here. Just the other quiet little girl here. And it's just zen. All I'm missing is a glass of wine. I'm telling y'all. That's all I need. If I get a glass of wine, child, I ain't going to get no glass of wine because y'all going to be having me saying anything. Yep, Janine, when them shots kick in, baby. Everybody love mocha, though. Like, that's everybody. They, people that meet me, though, for real, like, they be like, Toya coming or mocha coming? I be like, what that? What y'all trying to say? Toya boring? <laughs> they be like, bring mocha, please. Like, my male, like, guy friends, girlfriends, everybody. People I've been knowing, they be like, mocha coming? Bring mocha. Mocha must be motherfucking lit. See, when mocha get them six grapes and some tequila or something, she is a whole motherfucking vibe. Your mama cooked some crawfish. Who mama? Girl, my mama is in her bed. She ain't cooking no crawfish today. We resting it is. We off. I'm tired. I didn't got wore out from Memorial Day this weekend and wore me out. I we not cooking no food today. We going to sleep. I just wanted to talk to y'all for a little while because I ain't talked to y'all in a long time. And it's like, I just, you know, be having to connect with my people sometimes. See what, oh yes, six grapes still is in the, in the, on a bar, child. Red don't drink. I'm just the only one who drink. He only drink on his birthday. Kelly, you never got to meet Mocha? Oh, bitch, you missing out. You gotta meet her. She is a vibe. Now, who... I won't even... Okay. Who is they pointing middle finger and shit, bitch? You about to get blocked. Play with me on my live, because this is a positive live, Okay. If you got that negative shit, go, go on somewhere. Not today. It's raining outside. I just told you it's peaceful and zen. And you coming up in here pointing middle fingers for what? Yeah, that, they really tell me I sound like Nita when I get drunk. They be like, baby, Nita coming out. Yeah, what's the... You say Toya's working, girl. I don't know the thing. I don't really don't know the names. You say you met her for your birthday? For my birthday? Oh, yeah, I need some wine. You right about that, girl. I'm going to get on. Don't worry about it, baby. I'm about to go relax and get it. You don't want no smoke. Nah, for real. It ain't like that. I'm just joking. I'm just playing. Thank you. So what y'all got going on today, y'all? I can't believe my house is this quiet. Let's start there. What did you do last night? I went out last night. Y'all went to a party that Hannah killed. 
QCP uh, party. Hannah is the GOAT. And it was a vibe. We had a really good time. Okay, so what about the book? Let's get back to that. So today was going to be a day I was going to start my book because the weather is raining. I was going to sit on the balcony. But I'm torn. I don't know what direction to go into. Like, I don't know if I should do a part two of something, how to lose a husband, or if I should write love. Like, I need ideas. How's the wedding planning coming along? It's coming along. Where's the hottest family vacation spots? In, you say, in the States, out the States? What, like, where? Like, where do you want to go? That's what I'm trying to figure out what this book is going to be about. <laughs> trying to see love, self-love, how to lose a husband, part two. Because that book is pretty lit. And I mean, a lot has changed since then. And, you know, a remix of that could be dope. Oh, how to get a husband? See, that's the thing. Yeah. People, don't start me on how to get a husband. Because not, y'all not ready for that conversation. Because no one per I mean, I can't tell you how to get a husband for real. But I know I'm a wife. I'm not no girlfriend. I don't, I can't be nobody girlfriend. I'm wifey material, you know what I'm saying? First of all, you got to know that. Like, I'm not about to just be playing with you and being your girlfriend. For what? No, you got to have some kind of, I don't, uh, uh, I'm not, you know, you have some girls that are girlfriends that like to date, and you have some girls that are wives, like, bitch, I'm a wife. I do wifey shit, I carry myself like a wife. I am a wife, period, point blank. And if you ain't a husband, don't come this way. So that's just the energy you got to have. Like, you don't want a serial dater. You don't want a dude that, you know what I'm saying? But you can't be those things either, you know? So you got to just put that out there in the universe. If you're a wife and you want a husband and you are, you know, supposed to be a wife. Not like everybody can't be a wife. They say they want to be a wife, but they can't be a wife because, first of all, being a wife and being in a relationship is is not easy for nobody. No matter how much, like I always preach to y'all, the goals that y'all see other people relationships and shit. The truth is, y'all don't be know what them people be going through. Just, you know, find your situation that works for you and don't compare your situation to the next person's situation because you don't really know what these people go through in real life. You know what I'm saying? So, period. But if you're a wife, say you're a wife, move like a wife, demand wife shit, and stay away from the little boys who are not ready to be a husband. And you're going to be a wife. And y'all can talk about me all you want. Yeah, I'm about to be a wife again. And bitch, and this my this gonna be it. I ain't being a wife no more. That is this is gonna be my forever right here. Cause guess what? I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna be a wife again. I mean, it's this it. This it, cause I know it's it. Cause it's just you know, some people you mean you like equally yoked, and you're like you know, that's like your best friend and shit. Like that's like my best friend. That's right, girl. Say it. It's the wife. It's the wife. Move like a wife, act like a wife, say you a wife. Don't be acting like a girlfriend, want to be a wife. Okay? So that's that. But, yeah. Thank you. Yup, three times is a charm. Y'all know I used to, I was embarrassed of that. I was like, oh, Lord, I'm going to be married. I'm going to be, this number three. But I'm not embarrassed of that no more. Because, listen. If, you know, I used to be like, damn, I'm about to, I done been married two times, but fuck it, you know, the third time is the charm, you said the right thing, I had to tell myself, you're a wife, you're not a girlfriend, so, hey, yep, that's, that's Scorpio shit, yep, this is number forever, I truly believe that. No, I mean, not really. I'm not going to say embarrassed, but it's like you get to the point like, damn, if I, am I, uh, you know, like, is it me? Like, is it like, damn, I'm going on number three. But no, it ain't me. I evaluated the situation. It ain't got that me. So, yeah. 
But hey, yep, if it ain't right, it ain't right. They got to go. I'm torn between a televised wedding, y'all. I, I just, I, I keep going back and forth about that because, I don't know. Like, some things are meant to be, like, you want to keep to yourself. So, it's like I'm, a part of me is like, yeah, I want to share it because they saw so, mo so much of my relationship and they see so much of my relationship. And a part of me is like, this is a moment that I might want to, you know, keep to myself and maybe, like, do this big party or something. That I don't know. I'm, I'm just going back and forth. Toya, oh my goodness. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Look, y'all, my sister just booked a, a movie role. She is out here doing her thing. We got to lift our sisters up because guess what? That's what it's all about, baby. Keep booking them roles. When one door closes, another opens, and they're going to keep opening and opening and opening. But that's because guess what? You're a good person. So stuff going to keep happening. So congratulations on the movie. Y'all congratulate. Let's all you luck it. Um, what you say? Let us in on the after party. Oh, y'all want to come to my wedding? Oh, I don't know if I can feed y'all. Y'all wait four thousand three. Oh no, that's too many. I can't feed all y'all. Too many of y'all. Red. What you doing? I'm on live. Red just got here. I just told y'all I had the. Without the baby and the man and the oldest one calling me, the man is back. The man is up. Thank y'all. I couldn't even see what you said to you went so fast. But yeah. Show, show my sister some love. But mm -hmm. you went worked out again. This is one working out, man. This man loves the gym. I, like, I mean, I like to work out. Some, I really don't like to work out. Let me stop capping. I don't like to work out, but I push myself because I know my body needs it. I'm short. I'm thick. I have to work out. I have to be healthy. I have a movement going on. I want to help other people that struggle like me. So that is what Weight No More is all about. People like myself who like to eat, who love, not like love to eat good food but you know what i'm saying working out and staying healthy and staying fit is important but i can't get like this man this man works out oh, he's a workout head. and then he'd be like you ain't working out today i don't want to but it's good to have i call it it's like my push buddy you know what i'm saying like when i don't want like this morning you think i want the workout this morning i was i had drinks last night i came inside late that man was like, come on, we got to go to the mountain. All right, so let's go to the mountain. It's good that I have somebody to push me to work. See, that's another thing. Get you a man that wants, you know, help you be great. Like, we got to help each other. Because sometimes, the, well, I can't say he don't never want to work out. Because it ain't a day that this man don't work out. But, listen, wait no more. It's for people like me and you. Like, I have to literally push myself to see. If I ain't work out, I'd be big as shit. Like, thick as hell, rules, everything, because I eat. I like to eat. But, I have to, I realize I really, you know, need to make it a lifestyle and incorporate it in my, you know, in my day-to-day. -day. And I'm happy and blessed to have a push partner that push me and motivate me to keep it going. Because sometimes I be like, you know, when you're a mom, it's, it's difficult. You know, you have to be a wife, be a mother and I, you know, and everything, run businesses and work out. So it's so much you balance it. And some things you be like, sometimes you be like, I don't want to work out, but you got to put it in your schedule. You got to put it in there if you want to look nice. So I got to put it in there, y'all. I had to get up this morning at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock and go to the mountain and run the mountain with this man. Walk, run, walk, run, jump rope, run up the steps. I had to do it because, I mean, shit, I, I ain't about to be looking like Miss Piggy and you looking all together and fit. Uh -uh, we got to be on the same accord. So, listen, 
my, my push partner got me out the bed this morning and we went to work out and I feel amazing. And now I'm just, my mom is doing good. So now I feel, I feel good. I'm happy I did get up and, and do it. But that's why I like to share my, my times I do work out and like motivate other people because that shit is not easy. People act like it's easy. It's tough. It, it's, it hurts. It's everything. But it's important to include it in your lifestyle, like, no bullshit. No matter how much you want to do. And you don't have to like it, but, like, I don't like it. I don't love it, but I know it's important. I'm going to say that. So that's why we started Wait No More. Because we're be like, come on, babe, let's go. You got to push yourself, push yourself. It's hard, but it's worth it when you start seeing the results. Like, you put your clothes on. Like, sometimes I put my clothes on. I'm like, ooh, I feel good. And then... When I don't work out, I'll be like, ooh, I got to work out. So you can tell. And I already changed my eating habits, so I don't eat bad like I did, you know, two, three years ago. So it's just the workout part that I struggle with, but I still, you know, put it in there. So it's, I'm doing so much better. So we're going to start our 5Ks again. We're going to do the double dutch competition, which was a hit. Like, that was so dope. So I'm looking for jumpers and teams. So if y'all are in different cities, put y'all a team together and contact us, send us videos. I'm going to start talking about it, posting it. It's going to be a back to school thing. Like at the end of the summer, we're going to do the uh, Pretty Girls Jump event again for Wait No More. And I'm super excited about that because it's also a way to stay healthy, like, you know, stay fit, I'm going to say. Because jump and rope, I, now I love to do that. That's something I absolutely love. But anyway, do I have my bridesmaids picked out? Yes, I do. You left off in my... Oh, yeah, I left off in Miami because of the pandemic. Like, we couldn't do it because everybody had to get, you know, shut down. But we definitely going to pick it back up. Am I single? Abs no, I'm not single. Um... We want to have VH1 show. Oh, thank you. It's the lashes. It's Kelly on the lashes for me too, y'all. Yes, Kelly. It's, it's spy lashes. I can't wear like, um, what do you call the lashes y'all wear? The one by ones, the individuals. I can't wear it. I'm allergic to the adhesive that they use to put them on. So I have to wear the this kind that she do, like with a different kind of glue because I would, my eyes will be like this. So and I didn't try all kind of glue, the sensitive glue, everything. We're gonna think about coming to Tampa. We'll wait no more. As soon as these parks like all the way a hundred percent open up, we'll get the uh, wait no more new tour dates coming in for the five k. Cause I miss like meeting people on the five k's, like pushing each other throughout the five, the 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 run, the walk. Like that was dope. So we definitely bringing that back. Hey auntie, I saw my auntie on here. Auntie, good game. Now listen, y'all. Go follow Auntie Good Game. She's a she's a real one. Spit that real shit. Keep it one hundred. I remember I met her years ago. I was eating on Peter Street, and I was like, we was talking, and I don't know, like we instantly clicked. Like she just had a vibe about her. Like I love I love good people though. Like that's like my weakness. Like when you are like a dope person, and I meet you, like. You could feel, you know, the people you could feel that genuine shit on. You know, these sometimes it's hard because people have a hell of a way of faking. But from day one, that she's that lady still the same, like to this day. Like she's so real, so sweet, and she's such a vibe. Always calling, checking on me and my kids. So auntie, we love you. Um, my mom is doing really, really good. My brother's coming home soon. Casey, free Casey, I cannot wait. Then Walter be home. And we still, you know, rest in peace to my other two who will forever be in my heart. But um who else? But yeah, y'all. I had to come fuck with my people today. See what y'all was doing. What's up, San Francisco? 
Oh, I haven't been to San Francisco in a while. I like it out though. When you coming back to TV, um, hopefully, hopefully we'll be back soon. Um, my mother is an Aries. My mother is a mess. What's up, Larry? Mm hmm. Any more kids? Um, kids are such a blessing. And um, I I don't know. I I think I'm so rain was to be out, y'all. You know, cause it's like I waited twenty years to have a kid. I w I should have just back went back to back, like right there, like one and two. So, cause I have to play all day. I have to, you know. It's like I'm. You know, I just be tired, but I love my little snake. But she is so full of energy. And so smart, full of so much personality and loves to play. She want me to play everything well. Like, mommy, I wanna, I wanna, pl I wanna go play in my house. I wanna play school. I wanna play this. I wanna play that. And you know, I'm that mom, so we gotta go play. Um, girl, my kids are twenty years apart. The hell. 20 years. But to say they're 20 years apart, they really close. You know, sometimes I hear people say when they, they you know, by their kids being so spaced out that they are not as close. My kids are close. They call each other all the time. Like, they brain love her sister. They love brain. So that's a blessing. So, yes. But, um, now didn't I tell y'all that shit was going to happen? The oldest one calling me, the man home, and the baby going to be here in a minute. And that, it, that just killed my whole vibe by myself. Now, she see I'm on live, I'm sure. The oldest one. The oldest one I'm talking about. She know I'm on live and she blowing my phone up. She ain't in these comments yet. Kids. Kids, kids. Now, what do she want? Nothing. She just want to talk. I see, me and my daughter sit on the phone and talk all day now. You know, you go through that period with your kids, y'all. You know, I'm very transparent, so I'm a, I keep it a buck. You go through a period with your kids when they get a certain age, and you be like, oh, this, I can't stand these. But you love them. You know, we had that moment, and now we're like best friends again. Like, I, you know, what she say? It's the oldest one. Like, what she say? Yeah, it's the oldest one for me, blowing me up. But I love you so much. We sit on the phone all day, like, and just, you know, talk about what her acting stuff, talk about her house. She want to get a house built. Just all kind of great things now, you know. But we went through the period where I was like, I don't like, I love you, but I just, I just don't like you right now. Yeah, so... I didn't, I didn't like you, Nay. You know that. But I always loved you. And guess what? Nobody ain't going to play with you. Because you know I'm coming behind you. <laughs> she said, yes, those phases of mother and daughterhood. I don't, I play about a lot of shit, y'all, but I don't play about my kids. I will motherfucking go crazy if you play with my children. And that ain't going to never change, and that's not everything. Don't play with my kid. You can play with me all day. Don't play with my children. Now, but I am the kind of mom, though, if they wrong, they wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm not going to all the way support wrong shit, but you're not going to play with my kids. Would you say you ain't like me? Either, but. Girl, you always like me. You blow me up and call me all goddamn day. You, you like me. I just didn't like, I didn't like you. But I loved you. I still do, but your egg of eight ass. You calling me right now. <laughs> That's my, my baby, though. I love her. But anyway, add my daughter. Now you want to come on my live? Where you at? Where honey bun? Mm-hmm, y'all, but listen. Okay, I'm going to add you some. Add me, Nay. How you do that? 
I know you love me, girl. Hey, Auntie Kyra, congratulations. How's marriage life doing? Isn't it amazing? Sometimes, you know, in the beginning, it's so amazing. Yeah, mama, I'm your mommy for life, baby. Bring honey bun over here. Because your dog been pissed on my carpet. You need to come over here with the cleaning people and pick your dog pissed up. Because I don't do dogs pissing on my car. Come on. Why you on this phone? Get off the live and come over here and clean your dog piss up in my carpet. Because now I got to get the carpet cleaning people. Because rain already them told on you. Told on your dog. My nanny dog pee pee on your rug. So come clean your pissy dog piss up off my carpet. Well, her little cute self, she pissed on the wrong carpet too. My my good my living room carpet. You better come over here with the cleaning people. And then that dog is the sweetest and so cute. But her little ass pissed on my car. You know I don't play that. Rain shoulders a snip. Girl, rain gonna sell everything. That ooh, rain rain ain't like you, nigga. <laughs> they wasn't telling me all that. Rain gonna say, rain gonna say everything that's happened. She gonna sell everything. Clean it for her. No, I'm not cleaning it for her. She gonna come over here and clean it herself. And I pray you get this house that's nine minutes away from mine. Then, you know, she could just come up the street. No, I'm not petty. I I love dogs. I like honey bun. But I mean, I'm really not like a, I don't want a dog. That's enough for me. I can't do no dogs and kids like one or the other. Kyra, I lost what you said. You said some. I lost what you said. But yes, girl. Yeah, Nate Rain told me that your dog pissed on my coat. So I didn't forget. So when you get a chance, the people, I got to call the people and they got to clean my rug because I can't, I don't know where it's at. I'm not about to be sniffing the rug, but it ain't staying there. Um, I you say make the longer bonnets in a lo in different colors. Okay, I got you. I'm gonna do that. Stop asking me am I single? Get your ass off this live asking me that. No, I'm not single. Then you wasn't on here when you heard me say I'm a wife. I'm always be a wife. I'm not a girlfriend. Don't ask me am I single no more, baby. Stop asking that. No, but it's a lot. I'm sure it's a lot of single women on here. You could find you somebody. But no, I'm not single. Okay. I have a man. A man man. Okay. How you care about your kid? I'm not going to even entertain you. <laughs> not today. Then I just not see this. I can't. All right. Um, The wedding is next year. You want to wife my daughter. And boy, y'all be saying some stuff. How did you? How did me and my hubby meet? That, I'm going to tell y'all that in a story time. Because it's a long story. So maybe we could get on live one day and tell it. It's, it's a long story. I'm not going to even worry about it. I saw the foolishness. I'm going to just let them live. Because, you know, they say misery love company. But he not getting no invitation, baby. Because I don't want the company. Oh, oh, a fiance, girl. Congratulations, girl. To my fiancés. It's the fiance. What happened to the YouTube channel? Girl, we really... Did y'all enjoy that? The, we in the kitchen with my mom. Um, when we was cooking, and we might have to bring that back. YouTube just say it's it's just being consistent with it. Like I really enjoy doing it, but it's just you know when you start that you have to really be consistent, like and keep it going. I still have a video I never dropped from last year, so maybe I could add that to my YouTube channel and then keep it going. Because it was fun. And my mama was a whole movie. So, I might get back on now and do it. So, the, if y'all didn't watch The We in the Kitchen, go check it out. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, I got to get 
put the link back in my bio. So, yeah, I'm going to do a live with Red. Red is so chill and laid back, but he talk. He say some shit. One thing about Red, I will say this, like, he is the type of person, he going to keep it real. Like, he say shit, like, he be like, but, you know, you got to appreciate that. How is raising my niece? I love it. She's so, so sweet. She's different from my kids. Because my kids are like, y'all know, Nate is like, and Rain is, you know, they both like outgoing. And my niece is like really, really shy. So it's it's it's, it's just different. Like we got to make her talk. And I'm used to, to, my kids don't shut up. They talk all goddamn day, all, both of them. So it's just, you know, but it's the, I wouldn't have it no other way. Like, she is, she's a sweetheart. Yup. What's up, the sneaker peddler, y'all? The sneaker peddler got the high sneakers. Go fuck with my boy. Um, what else? What I use on my skin? Uh, what do I use on my skin? You ain't gonna believe me if I tell you. So, that's a whole nother lie, too. Um, so what about mm, hairstylists? I use Brandy, Be Fly Experience, and I also use Landon. Um, what's Landon's Instagram? Glamorous Hair and Jody. So Jody, I have three in rotation like that I use. Because you know Atlanta people always moving around, always doing something. So you gotta, you know, have your little backups when stuff come up. But all of them are, like, amazing. But my main hairstylist is Brandy. B-Fly Experience. Makeup must-haves. Um, I got to ask Haley and Joya, because guess what? I don't know how to do no makeup, but nothing. That's what I need to do on my YouTube, a makeup tutorial, and see how good I can do my own makeup. I promise you, I can't paint a goddamn... I, I'm, I gotta get it together, child, because makeup artist is expensive. I'm tired of paying for makeup. Shit. I'm gonna learn, though. I'm gonna do my a tutorial. And, um... Y'all gonna tell me how good I did. Maybe I could get, do it soon. And y'all tell me, uh, nah. But the first time, y'all gonna clown me. So, I'ma just be ready. Gotta have tough skin dealing with y'all people, child. Or put it on YouTube. Y'all gonna be like, um, nah, sis. Stick to your makeup artist. But I'ma, I'ma try. I said I was gonna learn how to do makeup in 2020. But, I mean... I really could have learned in 2020 since I was in my damn house, but I had other stuff going on. But I'm going to learn. Who high as fuck? Boy, ain't nobody getting no goddamn high. Who are you talking about? We don't get high over here, baby. We don't do drugs. Now, tequila and some goddamn wine, now you talking. We don't do drugs in this house, baby. Wrong, wrong house. No drugs. It's the drug-free house. Who this is? People say anything. You talking about somebody high? I say, I look high to you, baby. I, listen, you want to know why I stay looking so youthful? Because I don't do drugs. Okay? And I don't do drama. That's why. That's the secret. Try it. Okay? No hookah. I try hookah. My best friend, like, loves hookah. But I don't like that. It's too harsh. Like, it's too... I be feeling instantly sick. I tried it a few times. Like, sometimes I might, you know. But, uh -uh. Oh, you look fly, not high. Oh, I'm so... I'm sorry. I, no, somebody did say high as fuck, though. Maybe it wasn't you. But I saw that. Do an entrepreneur vlog? Okay. No drugs, no drama, period. That is that is it. Mind your business. The one that pays you. 
do I, I love wine. I love six grapes. I love Moscato. I'm so, yeah, I'm a wine girl. Like today, I'm about to go watch me a movie and have me a glass of wine. Wine just mellows me. You know, everybody have their vice. You know, some people like to smoke weed. Cool, smoke your little weed. Some people like to do what they do. Do what you do. I like to have a glass of wine. That's my thing. But I don't do it every day because wine can also make you gain weight. You know what I'm saying? If you abuse it and do it every day. But I'll have me a glass of wine and sit inside. Like, that's what I like to do. I'm a wine girl. Wine and some good music. I like karaoke with my family. I like, like, chill shit. Like, I like house parties instead of clubs. I'll do the club if, yeah, weed is good. I, weed is cool. But, you know, I, I just never really got into smoking weed all day. I ain't saying I never smoke weed. I probably wouldn't hit the blunt. But I'm not really like a smoker. That's not really my thing. I think weed, when you smoke weed a lot, I'm going to shut up because there's a lot of weed smoking on here. Weed is good, though. I will say it's not a bad drug. But some people would be making look, look they be looking old. Like when they just abuse it. They, all their lips be black. They fake features be. I don't know. I'm big on that, on that kind of stuff. But hey, smoke your little weed. I'm going to drink my little wine. And guess what? I ain't judging you. You don't judge me. And that's that. Yep, Stella is bomb. I love it. That's my sister wine. She like that. That girl would drink. And she don't even drink, but she like that wine. But anyway, what's up, Shine? That's Mocha. Oh, is this Mocha right now? No, Mocha was out last night when I was at the party. See, listen, when E Class started playing my music, and when I had them shots of Zellion, that tequila, Mocha instantly clicked in like, bitch, like that. She was right. When y'all do, nah, but for real though, like, my household is vaccinated, my, yeah, can you, can you give me a charger? I'm not vaccinated, but I'm thinking, I, I have to do a little more research, but I'm not against it all the way. I'm a, I, I just, I don't know, it's too early. Um... Can you get my charger, Joshie, please? Yeah, but, uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I had fun last night, too. I live for a little black tie event, baby. A reason to put some... Oh, you got the Pfizer? Okay, girl, with your vaccination. The people that be vaccinated, y'all be acting like y'all is baby. Like, I'm vaccinated. Like, okay. That's great. I might get vaccinated, though. I'm, I'm not, like, I'm still thinking about it. I'm going to do my research, and then I'm going to make my mind up. So I'm not telling you not to get vaccinated. Do what's comfortable for you. But eventually, you know, you... Do I want you to be my kid? Oh, child, I got... You see all these kids I got? I have the the oldest one, the youngest one, this one up here. All my other little babies. I have a lot of kids. A lot of mouths to feed. I don't know if I need no more kids. But I love you. Not right now, yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. But hey, to each his own, y'all... Get y'all vaccine. We ain't about to make this no vaccine talk. Because guess what? These people be going crazy about that vaccine. Baby, you better go give it. Like, all right. I hear you. What are some of my healthy eating habits? Um, I just, I don't like fried food. I really don't like chicken anymore. And listen, I used to be a chicken eater. But I think with my blood type, my blood type, 
it makes me sick and it makes me bloated. And I notice like when I stop eating chicken, I, I you know, I start to thin out. And <clears throat> I eat a lot of fish, salad, vegetables, fruit, but I love snacks. That's my problem. I'm like, I like stuff like <clears throat> chocolate covered almonds, cookies, and ice cream. Shit, that's I don't really like do ice cream like that, but like sometimes I might have ice cream with my cookies. But I like I just love a good snake. So I have to pace myself. Like if I'll probably tell myself, okay, you can have like two snacks this week. You know, like just the because I will I will overdo it. Like, I love snacks. But I don't really eat fried food, like, for real, for real at all. I eat a lot of baked food. I eat a lot of fish. I eat a lot of... I really only really eat seafood. Thank you, baby. Do this one work? Oh, yeah. Snacks is so good. How can something so bad be so good, though, y'all? Like, Cokes. My mama, I was not a soda girl, like, at all. And my mama just always come over here. I got a cold Coke for you, girl. Yeah, I'm out in red hates it. <laughs> but I don't really, I drink, I drink a lot of water. But every now and then, I do Cokes. But I love ginger ale. That's, like, my favorite. I eat salmon. I love red fish. You know what I like? This, they have this red fish with this sauce on it with these rock shrimp on top. That shit's so good. I actually posted it the other day. It is amazing. Oh, I love red for me too. Tilapia is tilapia is I don't know about tilapia, y'all. That's kinda like the let me shut up. Cause you know, you can't you gotta watch what you say these days. I don't tilapia is not I mean it's good but that's not the best fish. That's not that good for you, I don't think. Salmon. Get you some salmon. Not salmon. Salmon. And some... So I heard... Tel yeah, I don't know about tilapia. That one is... Wait, what you say? Oh, girl, next time, um, Corey, come. Oh, this not work, Joshie. See, Joshie bring me broke charges and stuff. Girl, this don't work either. So, um, oh, it's not real fish. Okay, yeah. And it's dirty. Is it supposed to be dirty fish or something? Somebody say, I don't know. Tilapia is, get you some salmon or some red fish or some sea bass or some. I don't know about tilapia. But hey, people love it. Need a cookie good. I'm going to cook it for you, but I don't really like that. I like crawfish. And people say, you talk about tilapia, but you eat crawfish. It's like you eating little roaches. Well, that's the roaches that I love. Them goddamn crawfish be busting. But you got to be from New Orleans to, you know. I love Y'all like crawfish? Well, what you say? Yep, I'm still on here, Reginae. Why you need me, baby? You want to talk to your mother? Like, you you need me? To oh, Red Snapper is good. Oh, Reginae know how to cook, y'all. Like, since the pandemic, my daughter has learned how to cook so many recipes. Ask me how many times she came over to cook for me. I think I had her lasagna one time. Now, who, who taught you how to make the lasagna? I think Taina or Jay, one of them. Oh, she been, she calls her friends and my mom to help her cook, like come up with the recipes. And she really do a good job, and I am so proud. If cooking that needs, let me come get a plate. Oh, yes, yeah, Zanique, tell her to cook so we could come get a plate. But, yeah, her food is really good. Now, listen, you talking about a person that didn't know how to make scrambled eggs. Like, she didn't know how to make scrambled eggs. She didn't know how to make pancakes. She didn't know how to... My baby be making 
fish tacos, shrimp tacos. <laughs> she be making spaghetti. She be making lasagna. What else she be making, Nate? This is, now listen, y'all, it sounds like little stuff, but listen, that is big for Nate. And if you know Nate, you know. Like, and it should be good. Like, it really be good. So I'm, I'm excited. Like, I'm just happy that she learned how to cook. Because baby sis used to think she was making eggs good. I just did not want her out feelings. I was like, mm, okay, yeah, that is. But she got it. Now that's all that matters. She even made crab legs. Oh, she didn't tell me about the crab legs I need. So y'all been over there eating crab legs and seafood and stuff, and y'all ain't invite me over to eat it. See what I'm saying? And she have yet to come over here and eat the crab legs. I'm blocking you. You can block this. You making crab legs and all this food for your friends and your sisters and your, all that, and you ain't making nothing for me. us. And me and Ray been asking you to come over here to cook forever. And see how I'm bragging on you? And you know crab legs is my weakness. Like, I love seafood. Why wouldn't you come make me nothing? You getting blocked. That's cold, y'all. I don't like that. Yes, Neek, she said. Neek just. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go on a look. I'm going to try a detox. Like, I never really did a detox before. I did a no sugar diet and, like, literally almost went crazy, but I dropped a lot of pounds fast. <laughs> them two, Zanique and Nate is, them two is a mess. Yeah, you really be throwing, throwing down. But anyway, I'm going to do me a detox. And I'm going to try to do like maybe like a three-day detox and see how that works. Because I never like, not, I just drunk shit all day. I always eat food. So I'm going to try it and see. B didn't know how to cook too. My sister know how to cook. I know how to cook, but I just don't like to cook like that but I will I cook but I just I just you know some people just don't like to cook I don't I just don't like to cook and then I'm like the type of person that cook and I gotta clean up everything as I it's just, I don't want to see nothing dirty nothing touching nothing like I just got that so bad my kitchen gotta be spotless at all times go live for who is it it's the accent for you. It's the Nola accent, baby. Are you gonna do come to DR? I mean, do a do the DR juice cleanse. What's that? What's the DR juice cleanse? Ain't see Kyra wants some crab legs, me, and so do I. So can you bring us some crab legs, please? I went home last week, boy. Auntie Kyra, if that food that y'all had was so good, everything was so good. Listen, my auntie make this seafood dip. Dines out the nine. If y'all in Atlanta or New Orleans, hit her up. When I tell you this dip is, I'm not just being biased. I promise you, like this shit is so good. She put crab meat in it. She put what she put crab meat, shrimp. It's like a seat. I can't even explain it. Like, I want that recipe so bad. She would not give us that recipe for nothing. That shit is, like, so good. It needs to be in restaurants. Like, no bullshit. It's called Dines Out the Nine. You can either eat it with chips or you can eat it with, like, a pasta or, like, the little breads. It's amazing. New Orleans people just got that fucking, oh, it's just something. That food would be so good. You would be so big now. There's no way in the world I could live there no more. I would be big as a house because I'm eating. So I just bring my little butt to Atlanta and just eat my little fish and go sit down somewhere. Did you use the Monastad for your edges? Girl, the Monastad 7. You Y'all remember that? Okay, yes, I did use Monastad 7 for my edges years, like right after I had rain. And... It works. But I also use my L Organics, the drops. That works too. So if you want to put Monastat in your hair, make sure you go pick up the My L Organics drops. Like the, it's the Rosemary Men drops, the truth. Like no bullshit. 
like my edges. I had alopecia, y'all. I was the bald head. I don't know what. All right, I had it was so see through. I was like, oh my god, where's my edges? This baby took like my edges. The edges was gone. Yes, it's for yeast infections, but yes, somebody told me to put it in my hair, and I did it because that's how desperate <laughs> I was. So desperate, y'all. I was so desperate, okay? And yeah, look at me now, like. She got edges. I was really like bald on the sides. I couldn't even get no ponytail for real. Like you could see right through the ponytail. It was like so see through. That shit real though. Oh, see, they know about the Maya Organic Shops. Monique have some amazing products though. She is a blood a black African American entrepreneur with a banging company. Like her products are really amazing for real. My edges came back and my hair grew. Y'all remember I cut my hair all off? I cut the hair all off right now. My hair is like, probably to him. It's growing so good. So it's like I'm just trying to take care of it. Rainy, for the people that's just joining, Rainy is at her grandmother's house baking cakes, which she like to do. And her mama is just enjoying this. But you see, you listen, listen, no noise in my house. You hear that? Not a TV on, not a radio on. I'm just talking to y'all and just enjoying my love. Peace. But I think I might go get her tonight because I, I love to have my baby at home. I be talking that shit and then I be like, oh, my house too quiet. I got to go pick her up. How many moms can relate? I know y'all can. Because them kids, some about them, them new kids, it's just different. Like, they just so... Back in the days, I was young, so it's like, you, we used to be ready to go. Be like, oh, can you watch Virginia? I'm about to go. Like, now, I don't really be want to go nowhere, Only, unless it's an event. So, it's like, I chill with the little one. You can get the drops from, um, I think it's myyellorganics.com. So, yes, but anyway, guys, it, it be so fun chatting with y'all. I need to really do this, like, once a month. Not me, rich auntie vibes for life. Who, BD, what y'all talk about? Who got rich auntie vibes? Oh, they have them at Walmart. Oh, okay, somebody say they sell them at Walmart. What makeup do I use? What the heck? What did Haley use on me? Um, I don't. I don't use Mac. Um, what is it? Bobby Brown? No, not Bobby Brown. Nars. It's Nars. Uh. Oh, she says she don't want no kids. Who don't want no kids? What's the name of the dip again? It's called Seafood Dip, and it's from Dines Out the Nine. Let me see if I could tag it. Dines, wait, let me see if it's gonna come up. Dines, is it Dines out? I don't know if that's right. Dines, y'all, I think that's right, but let me see about that. How you, how you pin it? Okay, I think that's it. No, Dines, it's Dines out the night. Somebody know it? I don't know. Is that maybe that's not right. But try it. The seafood dip is amazing. Also, if you have a little girl and you want some cute little hair bows, go support my little rainbow and get your hair bows from Rainbows. Because she got some cute stuff and we adding some new stuff to the site. I got a lot of entrepreneur that be in the office working, y'all. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, Tiny is my sister for life. That's my boo. I saw her last night. I her hubby. Yeah. Oh, shit. Update. Oh, that wasn't right. Oh, I think I put the wrong one. Oh. You in Trinidad, you need some bows. You can order them. We ship to Trinidad, girl. We ship everywhere. 
Let me tell you the site. Oh, somebody just did it. Dines, dines out the... Oh, it's a nine. The number nine. Dines out the nine. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. So, this is my baby site. Y'all go check my little stink out and get y'all some rainbows. Oh, we are about to add some new... Bit. Ugh. We're adding some new mystery boxes tomorrow. So I'm gonna do the small mystery boxes. That's for the small bowls. And then we're gonna do the large mystery boxes. And this time, the first time we did a, a bowl and a gift, and this time we're doing two bowls. So go get y'all rainbow mystery boxes. Um, you planned your wedding? Um, am I planning my wedding? Well, I picked out everything I wanted, kinda, but no, I'm not really planning it myself. My phone going in and out, y'all? Yes, we still sell Weight No More products. We have the jump ropes, we have the leg weights, we have the Weight No More powder. Um, and that, yeah, we still have that. You like my little ponytail, Christina? Girl, it was cute yesterday, but I just went to sleep. I came inside, I took a shower, and went to sleep. Guess what? I was so goddamn tired. I was, I went, I was out with the makeup on and got in the shower, wiped my face, and then all the way take the makeup off. And I never do that because my face, I don't want it to break up. But I'm about to get a facial. And they trying to call me. <laughs> yep, you know it because that thing, she blows me up. The jump ropes are back in stock. Wait no more dot info. What waist trainer I use? I use what a waist waist trainer. I think they really good and it's easy to work out in. Like when I go on a when I go to the mountain, like I'll put it on or when I go to the gym, I'll put it on and it don't hurt. You know how sometimes the wires from the waist trainer irritate you or the you know, it starts to irritate your skin. I never had a problem with what a waist. So those are like my favorite so far. And that's what a waste. They Instagram. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody looked nice last night. I love to see when, you know, people get dressed up. That was like that was dope. Um, I know you were like. Um. I'm trying to answer y'all questions, but it's like going so fast. We'll waste your... Thank you. Jeremy found the dress that I had on last night. Um, he We tagged the designer who made it. Uh, what else? But y'all in my favorite perfume. I have a few. I have quite a few. Of course, I like Baccarat. I like Tom Ford. Um, what else? What else am I wearing? Like, I still like Flower Bomb too. I like the oil. Um, I have so many perfumes, y'all. Whatever I feel like putting on that day, Bond. I have like a whole lot of Bonds. I have a. I love perfume. So anything that's not like gonna make me break out, no nothing like cheap, but smells amazing, I'ma get it. Um, no, I don't have my clothing store anymore. I closed it when my brother's fast. Who I think was best dressed last night? I think all the ladies look good. Like I think everybody looked amazing yesterday. Of course, my baby, she looked amazing. I love Young Miami outfit. She was really, really cute. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. All the late. I think all the girls looked so nice last night. I love to see when women get dressed up. So honestly, all the women look nice. Thank you. You love my accent. Thank you. What's up, E? Oh, guess what? My DJ just stepped in. E-Class, DJ E-Class. Listen, y'all. 
So I, I got to the party late, of course, because I was coming with Zanique and Regine, the two late ones. But anyway, we get to the party and E-Class is not playing the music no more. So then he had another little set, baby. When E class got on, and I had, I told y'all I had the shots. It was up from there for me. Like he always like give them out. Oh yeah, Tommy look good. All the ladies look good. But anyway, yeah, E class. Y'all looking for a DJ? You, you, somebody was talking about the reception vibe. E class gonna give you that for sure. We've been rocking with E-Class, like, a vibe. But that's for the, you know, the grown and sexy. The people who like to vibe out, but a grown. He can give you all of that. But see the grown and sexy? He gonna give you that. Yep. So we had a good time, y'all. But guess what, y'all? I'm about to go drink me some wine. And... Y'all ain't never answered my question about the book. I guess we'll have another live about that. Do he only do special events? E-Class, you only do special... No, he do. But he do parties, weddings. You know, I'm sure he do it all. If, you know... I love y'all too. Like, I really, really, truly appreciate y'all support. I promise. Like, over the years, you know, every now and then I like to check in and tell y'all that. Like, I really, really appreciate y'all support. For real. I love, appreciate the support y'all show me and my family. Okay, so the book vibes. Let's get back to the, my sister say book vibes. <laughs> okay, so listen. So, I'm, my sister is also writing a book. We're going to publish for her. I'm very happy for her because, you know, BD is so quiet. But she really have an amazing story. And it's good that she's opening up and she's writing her book. So, congratulations, BD. So, we was talking about, um, am I going to use E-Class at, your wedding, at my wedding? I wouldn't have it no other way. Anyway, I am in the process of writing a book. And I'm trying to figure out the direction to go in. Like, I've written several books. And right now, I'm at a totally different place in my life. Like, you know, I'm happy. I'm, you know, working. I have quite a few businesses. Like, I'm juggling a lot. I'm trying to figure out what direction to go with this book. Am I going to write about, you know, I was thinking about doing a part two of How to Lose a Husband. And I also was thinking about taking it in a totally different direction. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, where to go with it this time. Because I, you know, I wrote a lot of different books about stuff about my life as things happen, you know, in my life. I'm always sharing stuff. But somebody told me earlier I should write a relationship book. I, I don't. I mean, I never really thought about that, but. Maybe. Write about love your own body. Hmm, that's interesting because a lot of women do not love their bodies. They're so busy. You know what's so crazy? It could be the the most beautiful woman with the most banging body and she never happy with it. But guess what? The man, the men could love it. And you know, you know women really like do all of that for other women because they really don't do it for men. They really do y'all agree with that? Women do all of this extra stuff to their bodies, to their to their faces, you know, their appearance, like their dress, like all of this stuff. I feel like women do it for other women. Do y'all feel like that? Cause men be totally like I could tell Ray, I'd be like, oh I gotta lose you know, I'm this this and he be like, nah, you look you good. Like you good. It's like we never really like women are never really like all the way happy with their bodies. Uh never really it's like you never really happy with yourself. And it's like, why are we like that? But I come to realize like you don't do that for the man. Cause men really don't like they'll Go after the girl that look a certain kind of way, but men like what they like, and nine times out of ten, they really don't be all uh, you know, they don't want everybody, every woman to look the same. 
Yeah, that plastic surgery shit is getting out of hand. Like, listen, I'm, I, I mean, I feel like if you, you know, if that's something you really, really want to do, cool. Like, everybody's, you know, you move how you want to move. Like, I didn't did stuff before. Like, I didn't add a breast lift. Like, after, you know, I didn't did stuff before or whatever. But it's like, I feel like sometimes we go too far. It's like you try to create this perfect body and then it's like... It, Everybody want to look the same. Like, nobody want to put in work. Everybody want to look the same. Everybody want to take the easy way out. And that's cool. Like, if that's what you want to do. But it's like, we got to learn. To, we really, really got to learn to love ourselves. Because we be too hard on ourselves, man. A lot of y'all look. Like, I be, we be talking. Like, you'll have a conversation with women. And you'll be like, you look good. She be like, no, I'm big. Like, I got to be like, big where? But in our mind, we really be thinking it. Why are we like that? Somebody say Mocha need a book. <laughs> Somebody say Mocha need a book. Shit, bitch, Mocha book. <laughs> Gonna be turned. That's the little baby, y'all. The little baby trying to come home. You say just to impress social media, you think that's what it is? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like, and then it no it be killing me the people who have like natural bodies. It's like they want to tear the people down with natural bodies. They be like, something off about her. Something off about her because her hips not all the way out there and her ass not all the way hanging out. Like, that means something off about her. I never understand when people say that. Like, what do you mean? Like, you're so used to seeing one type of body type, you think that everybody's supposed to look like that? Like, what do you, what's off about it? Love yourself, because guess what? These people will tear you down so much to make you feel like you got to do all of this other shit to yourself. Like, listen, we really, we, and I'm saying we, as in all of us, we got to do better. Who wrote about their friends in the industry already? I ain't writing about no damn friends. Yeah, we got to embrace ourselves. And sometimes, I mean, with all of this body shaming and tearing, tearing women down, that shit is all that, you know? What kind of wine I drink? I like six grapes. I like, uh, what I like? Moscato, Stella Rosa. I like, I just like wine. German wines. Like, will I have another baby? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say no because, I mean, you never know. But, I don't know. Have I ever thought about when you say? <laughs> How I look at you. I like tequila. I love tequila. You know what? I, li I like tequila, but I also like this drink called a French 75. It's so good, but I like it with Hennessy instead of gin because you know they put gin in it for real. Is Beatty single? Beatty, are you single? Was I sick with my pregnancy? I wasn't sick with nothing. I think I, when I was pregnant with Nate in the beginning, long time ago, years ago, I was sick with rain. Not at all. At all. I wasn't sick at all. I think you should take the book to a different direction, sis. That will be a good look. Okay, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to go in a different direction this time. Thanks for that. Very single and focused. Oh, my sister says she very single and focused. So listen, sister, I don't know if you was on here earlier, but I told them that somebody said, was talking, and it, some one person said that I'm always, you know, like people always want to marry me or something. I said, because I'm a wife. Like, and you got to put that out there. If you're a wife, you're a wife. You can't be wasting time with no little boys that don't want to be a husband. What the fuck? What, what, what we doing? Like, that shit get played out. 
Wait, you still remember? Yeah, I still remember my first pregnancy, girl. Yes. That's my baby. I had that baby. I am always remember everything about it. Like, that was my first time experiencing childbirth. So, I remember everything about it. From the time I gave birth to... Y'all, my story with Regine. If I One day, I'm going to share a picture of how I looked after I had Regine. Y'all would not believe it. But I was a kid. I was a kid. What you say, Josh? I was a kid. I was young. So I lost a lot, a lot of blood. And I was so swollen and bit. Like, when I tell you I had so much flu, I was huge. Like, I looked like a totally different person. Like, totally different person. But this was after I had her. Not during the pregnancy. This was after. It was weird. Yeah, my teen pregnancy story was scared any teenager that want to have a baby. Yes, I told Regina that story a lot of times. And thank God, we, we don't have no kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bonus book should be about weight loss and... Okay, wait, wait, wait. A weight journey, okay. Oh, yeah, y'all would trip out off of that, though. Oh, that's a story to write on? Yeah, that was that was crazy. That was really, really crazy. Did you have a summer? I can't. It's going too fast. Well, I get my eyes. I guess my dad, my mom, I don't know. Yeah, I was 16. I was 16 when I had Nay, and I had a horror 16 pregnancy story, y'all. It was, it was, I, I thought I wasn't going to be here no more. I had like, oof. I might save it and, and share it. Oh, I love you to come to Louis, Louisville. i never been to Louisville before. Oh, so do a, maybe I could do a YouTube on my teen pregnancy story. Let me, on my phone, I'm on my phone. Yeah, I'm going to write that down. Josh, bring me a paper and pen, please. That might be good. Because that shit, I used to tell Regina that story. Like, listen. Got her mind right, y'all. So, parents, you know, we got to be on. I can't wait to come back to Vegas. So, y'all all the way open up here. Because last time, all my friends that went to Vegas, they was like, it was wack. And I, I, if I come to Vegas, I need the Vegas experience. I don't want to come, like, COVID Vegas, where it's, like, shut down. What you missed, girl, you missed. I was, I was going to share with them my teen pregnancy story, but then I decided to do it on YouTube. So look out for that. They gave me that idea, so I'm going to do it on YouTube. And y'all tune in and, and watch it. I'm going to share the picture and everything. And I'll be posting my goddamn picture on social media if I'm sharing my story with y'all trying to help y'all out now. Because I was like this. Like, I mean, huge. I was, come here, Josh. The people want to say hi. Why? You're so beautiful, though. Come here. Be your niece is crazy. Come here, Josh. Come here. I had to write that down. All right. You should do a YouTube stop on self-love. So y'all saying YouTube instead of a book? Thank you. I was so huge and swollen after my... I know what is that? Like, what is that about? Like, I was really like... I, I got to go find that picture. But I lost a lot of my pictures in Katrina. Josh, hey, Selena, say hi. Hi, Selena. Y'all go check out Snug Boutique and get y'all pajamas. Listen, because I'm all for supporting my people. Now, Snug Boutique, the, all them pajamas that I wear when we be wearing for our events and stuff, straight from Snug Boutique. Go get you some. You owe the YouTube in a book, huh? 
this the cooking mom. So this is her daddy child. This girl eating nothing but snacks. No food. All she eat is junk food all day. Now she eating goddamn Hershey's and shit. Come here. They, want, they say they want to see you. So I yeah, got... Um... Oh, so I was telling you about that. So some of my... Like so many of my pictures were damaged. And Katrina, so I don't really have a lot of pictures of Reginae when she was a baby and, I, and a lot of my pregnancy pictures and stuff because I lost it in the house. So I have to go find Sita, probably have one. I'm going to ask Sita for my big swollen picture that so one of my aunties might have one. My book is, it's still on, I think I still have a book sale going on. It's like $12.99 or something. How much did I weigh? Ooh. I think I was bigger with Regina than I was with Rain. Thank you. Huh? They come and get Rain iPad? Or they're not bringing it home? Let's see. They're going to keep my baby. Um, Josh, hey, come here. Yes, y'all. Oh, Joshie, can you go get my... Never mind. Come here. Selena wants to see you. Girl, come here. You look cute. Joshie is addicted to piercings. Y'all kids going through that crazy face. She want a piercing. Here, here, here. You're not getting no goddamn more piercings. That's enough. Now you turn to a punk rock store. Huh? I need this on the side. What? Why would you get all that? Come show the people. Come here. Come here. My niece is... I don't know. She's like, she like rock stuff, punk rock stuff. She got a piercing that go through here. She got one that go through here. Now she's saying she won't want to go through there. She just won't pierce. And next she's going to be saying, I want one right here. You want one in your lip? You want one in your eye? <laughs> no, I just want that one here. Yeah. I want one whole here. Come, they want to see you, Joshua. Come here. You here for the piercings? But the, all them piercings. Girl, they cute, but that's enough. Like, stop right there like you're about to overdo it. Come come here. That little girl is so shy. She's not coming. Y'all just don't understand what I deal with. I got to literally beg. When I tell y'all, beg this little girl to take a picture. Beg. I be like, Joshua, you look so cute. Can you take a picture with me? I don't want to. I said, can you take a picture with me? You look cute. Like, you would swear I just don't even be bothered with her. Because she don't want to be in no picture. She don't want to be. She's just be in her own world. But, hey, see, she's different from my kids. My kids, when I pull a camera out, can you take my picture? I got one trying to take the picture and one everybody got to take a picture of. They just, they, them, them two, they just like night and day. Come here, Joshie. They, come here. Girl, bring your butt here. She's so shy and so beautiful. She is so beautiful. Come here. Joshay, they want to say hi to you. Oh. <laughs> Guy goofy. <laughs> silly. She's so silly. Girl, come tell these people hi. They on their way to get Rain iPad now. Girl, Rain not going to want to go back with them when she see I'm here. Rain's about to be home. She's not going to get no iPad. It's over for me, y'all. Like, my little quiet time and talking to her. See, I can talk to y'all now because my baby not home. They about to pull up. She's not going to want to leave back when she say I'm in his house. Oh, I love that piece of my brain. You are absolutely right. Anyway. Turn again. Come here, Josh. <laughs> Come here. Girl, you too pretty to be acting like that. Look at her, yeah. Throw it off. Oh, somebody at the door? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, yeah. I ain't got time. This every day. Y'all just don't understand. Like, I, I literally got a big cut to take a picture with me. I be like, take, well, take a picture with rain at least. Like, this rain. She ain't with it. <laughs> Yeah, she she over it. They just oh what today is? Girl, I thought my baby had gymnastics today. Today's 
today, not Monday. I'm all throw it off. That's them? Oh, shit, y'all. That's, that's Rainbow. Let me see. Wait, let me. Oh, oh, that boss home, y'all. Come on. Rainbow, come here. I told you she was going to stay home when she come. Come here, Rain. Y'all. Rain, come here. Hey, Ma. You know coming to get that iPad, that girl wasn't going to want to come back home. <laughs> oh, she... She a mess. Come here, Rain. Y'all yeah, about to go. Rain, come here. Rain, come here. My baby getting so tall. Hi, Stanka. Hi. Give me a kiss. What? What? No kiss? Okay. Give me a kiss. Dingle winkle. Mm -hmm. No, Did you have fun at grandma's house? Yeah, now it's raining. It's raining. I know mommy was going to sit outside and chill by herself and listen to the rain. Did you miss me? Yes, school. Yes, go in there because uh, I, huh? yes, I do miss you, but yes, school is inside. You want to go inside? Oh, that's my stinker, y'all. The mosquitoes in New Orleans so hot. Yeah. <laughs> you got a bubble? Bubba. Oh, what happened? Hmm. She missed me. Yeah, I guess I gotta go. The boss is home. The boss is home. The boss is home. I enjoyed y'all, though. But the little boss home now. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Where you going? Girl, stop talking like a baby. Don't do that. Don't nope. We're not doing this, this. Huh? Stop. Come on. Yep. Well guys. I'm about to, what, what you said I didn't even, yeah, she is her daddy and her grandma twin, that's my stinker, both of my daughters though, Nay was Sita and Wayne twin, and this one is Miss Shirley and Red twin, so I, one day maybe my son will look just like me, yeah. Hey mom. Where y'all was going? Okay, y'all. I'm going to get on here and talk to y'all. I'm on live. She said, oh. My I to say this. I my knee Oh, yeah, Daddy, tell me you come back sick. It's last night I turned and it popped. Come on. You want to sit here, Ma? You want me to put the cushion in here? No, uh-uh. Oh, you just going to see the steps? Yeah. Be careful. Come on, I'm going to help you. Rain, they want to see your new house. Wait, I'm trying. I don't have no shoes on. I don't put my shoe. This is her house, though. Get a little bit right there. Rain, they want to see your new house. She says downstairs. <laughs> she said you guys can't. Oh, she's very hospitable, guys. She cooks for you. She cleans up. She. You gonna cook for them? Yes. yes. What you gonna cook for them? Hey, Daddy. Rain, don't do that. Friday, they 
them, they gotta bring the other pieces though. It's the table with the chairs. Yeah. It's no sound, you say? It's rain house, y'all. Hmm? I'm going to put the pool right in the middle right here. All right, y'all. My baby is home, so it was real. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Where y'all coming from, ma? Karate. Oh, y'all went to the ride. How you hang up?